This video discusses how to set up uh, the IR vision uh, for a FANUC robot. So the first thing that we need to do is determine the IP address of the robot. Every robot actually has a uh, internal web server but we need to be able to connect to that web server. So we need to know the IP address. So if we uh, go to menu, setup, so I'll select six for setup and then F1 for type. And I want to go to um, <clears throat> general. So we press F1 for type and then we go to next. And then uh, five is host communications. So we go to five for host communications and then um, TCP IP detailed setup. So I'll click enter there. And here now you can see this is the IP address of our local robot. All right, so let's do that again. So we're gonna go to menu, we're gonna go to setup and from setup, we're going to go to F1 type. We actually have to go to the next screen here, and then we see host communication, and then TCP IP detailed setup, and that's where we find the IP address of our robot. So now we can see here, like this particular robot has an IP address of 10.101.205.6, and now we can open up Internet Explorer. So if we go to Internet Explorer and we connect to a robot, um, currently actually I, I have it opened up to um, a different robot. This is actually robot number four. You can see the name there, robot number four, and its IP address actually happens to be 10.101.201.174. And so, uh, and you can see the serial number of the robot here. And so this is the screen that they have for the, uh, for the default web server. So there's a lot of different options on here, but you can see, you know, about the second thing down is the IR vision. And so under IR vision, we have, uh, okay, so, so we have um, the IR vision, oops, um, I, again, I, in this case, I went to robot four, so you can see the serial number and the host name of the robot there. And we want to, um, you can see the IP address. So the IP address of this robot happens to be 10.101.201.174. Um, the robot um, I showed you before is the, uh, I was just running that from RoboGuide and, and that robot's actually turned off at the moment, so I can't connect to that one. But uh, so this is robot number four, and you can see uh, right down here, the, the second main block is the IR vision options. And in there, we actually have a, what we call vision setup, vision runtime, vision log, and vision data files. So these are uh, the, the four options on this particular robot for the IR vision. So what I want to do is I want to go to Vision Setup. So I'm going to click on Vision Setup. But when I do that, I run into an error. Now notice I'm using Internet Explorer here. So to do the IR Vision, you must be using Internet Explorer, not Edge, not Firefox or Chrome or Safari. You must be using Internet Explorer. But um, when we do this, we run into this error, trusted sites not configured, okay? So it has the IP address I was trying to connect to, and it says it's not a trusted site. And the reason for this is because the, uh, the server on the robots doesn't actually use encryption, okay? So remember, like, the controllers of, of the robots, especially the older robots, really do not have the uh, processing power to do standard encryption. And so the, even though there's a website running on this robot, it's an un, unencrypted website. And so that's where this security or trusted sites 
um, message pops up. So what we have to do before we can actually load any software or anything is we have to um, press the Alt button to go to Tools, go to an Internet Options, and under Internet Options then, we have to uh, come over to Security, Trusted Sites, click on the sites, and then we have to add, and you see it actually is picking up my, my local IP address, where we have to add this as a trusted site. Okay, and so, but it, it won't take it. What's going on? Well, what's going on here is this require HTTPS. So that S means security or encryption. So we actually have to uncheck that. And then we can add this and say, even though this is an uncrypted site, we do trust this site, all right? And so you'll have to do this for, you know, whichever uh, robot that you're trying to connect to, okay? So you'll, again, you'll have to uncheck the required HTTPS, where again, the S means security or encryption. And then you can add this robot as a trusted site. All right, and so then we click OK, and now we come back and we click on the IR Vision again, and um, it actually loaded right up. Okay, so it actually, boom, loaded up the, uh, the Vision immediately there. So just loaded that up. But what will happen, if you run it for the very first time, it will run through a setup. And so it will actually go through and, and try to... Uh, install or it will install it'll download files from the robot to run on your windows machine so the the robot the web server or the robot will have have some some files that are designed to work with internet explorer that need to actually kind of be installed on your local so it'll down, download these files across the network and install on your local computer. Now I've already have done this before and so that's why you didn't see it do it right here. So you can see now this is uh, the picture. This is a picture that's uh, being taken or that was taken from the actual robot camera. All right, and so if I click on live, you can see it's actually um, live taking pictures right now you can kind of see it flashing there all right and um, so this is a good way to like focus if you need to focus the camera uh, you want to turn it on live and then you can uh, adjust the focus of the camera while you're looking at the screen here to make sure that you get a good focus okay and then you can just take it off and say like snap a picture in there now you notice um, it, it looks a little whitish there. So it's a, maybe it's just a little bit white. So if you come here uh, to the uh, default exposure, you can actually uh, decrease that. And uh, you can see it's a little bit darker here. So you can increase it a little bit or a lot until you, know, you get a good picture. So you wanna you really want to get a good picture. If you notice the dots in the grid, they actually have a white dot in the center of them. So you want to at least be able to try to see that. Okay. Now, um, you know, this robot actually uh, has uh, several, has the camera already connected. But what I want to do is I want to come over here and show you when you first hook up a camera to a robot for the first time the first thing you have to do is create the camera so you have to come over here and and it looks a little bit different depending on your version of the robot so this is the r30 ib controller and so um, it has a vision type v type is vision type and the first thing we want to select is camera setup tools so i'm going to go to camera setup tools and now i'm going to create a camera all right, and so you have to know what kind of camera you have connected. Right now I have a Sony analog camera connected, and then we're just going to give this a name. Okay, Hartman uh, Sony Cam, something like that. And you can add some comments to make it more descriptive. Uh, the name can't be very long. 
All right, so but then you see now this is my brand new camera I just created today and I'm going to double click on it. And you can see it there now it defaults, you can see up here it tells you which port number. Okay, so depending on your robot, you may have four ports for cameras. And so, you know, you can have four cameras attached. So you have to select which camera, um, which port for the camera, and then which model number of the camera. And the one we're using is the XC56. And then again, here you see this default exposure, and they always default the exposure to 33 milliseconds. And depending on the lighting, um, you know, a lot of times that's just way too much as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change this to like 18 um, and look at it. And we can zoom in on this a little bit. So you see it's actually only zoomed at 50%, which is why it's so small. So, you know, you can kind of zoom in to see it a little bit better. And, you know, that's not bad. So we can type in the number here. So you can just uh, click up click over here and type in a number and you know try some different values by punching them in or you can click the up and down arrows to change it all right so you see there like you, you can barely see the white dots in the center you really want to be able to try to see those um, but you don't want it to like fade it out so this is like obviously uh, looks kind of faded out there. It's a little bit uh, too light. And so you just, you know, you want to kind of find the, a good medium point there. And then you can save that camera. So boom, now I've saved this camera. All right. And again, you can, you can use um, live shot and then you could adjust the focus on the camera. Um, or you can just take a snapshot of it and, and you can change your default exposure if you take a snapshot of it. Now there's also an option here to tell you whether the camera is going to move or not. So if we mount the camera onto the robot, then the, you know, as the robot moves, the camera is going to be moving. So you, you have this uh, checkbox here. So if the camera is actually mounted onto the robot, you definitely want to check this. And then um, you can specify that it's on this robot or a different robot in a different group. Okay, so uh, you have to, you know, select that. Most of the time, it'll probably just be this robot. But if it, if you mount the camera onto the faceplate of the robot, you need to make sure that you tell it, hey, you are connected to the. Uh, the camera is is actually going to be moving. That's basically what this checkbox here means. All right, so um, when you're happy with the picture, then you can save this, right, and then close. And um, so once you've done that, now you have a camera. And as you can see, we actually have several different cameras on here. But in reality, these are all exactly the same camera. We only have one camera mounted on the robot. So... Um, so these things, these settings here uh, are just exercises where we created it. Normally you would only have one camera set up for each physical camera wired in. But in this case, you can see I got three Sony analog cameras. These, these are actually just those single camera. Okay, they're not different cameras. Um, I did label this one the fact that it's fixed and it's not mounted. Uh, which is good. It's good to give it uh, a descriptive name. So, you know, looking at this, we can tell that, hey, this camera is fixed. And then like this one here, you can see I actually even put in the comment for this one, uh, but I also named it like RH and then mount, meaning that this, this camera has the little checkbox selected saying that, yes, it's been checked. Okay. And the, the exposure time here on the cameras, um, this is not real important for the setup because you can change that later on when you actually uh, select a service for the camera to, um, to complete. 